Alice, can you please tell us your name and where you're from? My name is Sharon Hilton, and I am from Brampton, Ontario, in Canada. And I'm also the mother of Makiba Hilton. Awesome. A family testimonies. Come on. Can you uh, tell us uh, the amazing testimony that God has given to you? Well, this is how it started. In 2009, I had... I drank contaminated water, and then for those who can see, just right here at the front of my ankle, it was itching one day, and I didn't want to use my nails and damage my skin, so I got a washcloth, and it got worse because it kept itching. The next thing, when I stopped, I damaged the upper and under layer. In a short period of time, I had an ulcer as large as the silver American dollar. And I wouldn't go to the doctor. And I remember my family would go to church without me on Sunday because I was in so much pain. And I asked the Lord, please, Lord, help me, help me and heal me. Well, in 2010, it closed up in January. But what I had was a swelling around my entire left ankle. And if I got out of bed, I would always elevate my foot. And once I get out of bed... Five minutes and my entire ankle would be swollen. Since I came here in 2012 uh, for the, the prior service with wise man Harry, when I was in the line on the Sunday morning, I was told to call out to him. So I kept saying, man of God, man of God. And eventually he came over to me and he used his shoes and just barely tapped my shoes. I put his foot on top of my left foot. Since then, I must honestly say, just moving forward to 2015, we started out 3, 3 a.m. Saturday morning. We took three aircrafts to get here yesterday. And I looked at my children last night and I said, look at my anchor after all that. It's not as swollen as it usually is. So you know what? God is always working from back then, 2012 to now. I am constantly being healed by him. Praise God. Amen. Amen. And so after you receive that prayer, now as we can see on your left, Nia, that there is no inflammation at all. Because uh, can you tell us, before you received prayer, was that inflammation occurring constant? It would never go away? It was every single day, between 5 to 10 minutes getting out of bed, it would be like this. And not being conceited, but I do have pretty ankles, especially when I was younger. <laughs> And it bothered me. It's my conscious state. Like the pastor mentioned, one of the first things to maintain our healing is to change our mindset. Well, looking at the reality, it didn't quite change my mindset then. <laughs> and then afterwards, as we can see that there is no inflammation, that is amazing. Praise God. Thank you so much for your testimony. <laughs>